coffee I receive, I apologize. Done with. Let's have dinner. Mm. Jackie! Mm. Ooh, that is not the Jackie. You know it. There's a new girl about to surface. Whoa! Oh, you just met her. Damn. Who's this? <laughs> like, what is she gonna do to us? You know this curse and say not a goddamn thing. Maybe he already knows Jackie. <laughs> we just getting introduced. <laughs> you ready? I've apologized to Buffy. And I received it and I accepted it. And don't have to worry about me saying much more. That's fine. I'm disappointed in the way you're reacting. Don't be. Let that be the last thing you say to me tonight. That's fine. This isn't the Jackie that I know. I don't feel that she's showing any compassion. And it's very disappointing. I think that Jackie is upset that she was put on blast. Absolutely. May I say one thing, and, and my heart is beating real fast because I get upset when Jackie gets upset. She did not mean it like that. When y'all try to portray Jackie as saying something that she didn't mean, it bothers me to my core. You know why? Because it ain't in her. I compared Dr. Jackie to Dr. Damon, and that's probably one of the greatest compliments I could give anybody. They're great physicians. They're great spouses. They have a sensitive, warm heart. So when next time you do something like this, pull it to the side. Don't do it at the table. Pull it to the side. an activity called Mexican Messy Boots. Oh, Lord. Not to be messy. This is really just a learning exercise. It shouldn't be that anybody is taking any question personally. <laughs> Can we sit back and relax? <laughs> Who wrote the questions? I did. OK, I will just wonder if heaven I wrote, wrote them. OK. <laughs> I want you to ask Curtis, what did she give you that I didn't? Do I make you happy or is it the material things? Do you feel it's a fair to invest our money without talking to me first? Come on, I'm Scott. I'm just asking a question. I won't. No. I will... Get your hands off me. <laughs> come on, come on, hold up. Do we need to see if people want something to drink before you yes. get the question? I want to make sure everybody comes. Do you have any tequila? Do you need your spouse's permission to change careers, go back to school, or open a new business? Hell no! You don't need the permission, but you want to run it by him because you are one. Y'all have to talk about it and communicate, Scott and Contessa, and communicate about what... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't get your permission. I'm sorry. The world, the world, everybody. You know, I actually feel a little bit different. When you're in one household, every decision that the other person makes has an effect on your household. I totally agree. Our whole objective as couples is to say, hey, I'm about to convince you that this is right for us. That's it. That's it. That's very, very right? well said. But the double standard that happens is that that's only something that women do. I mean, Contessa taking this to a personal standpoint. It's not about a personal standpoint. Between us two, which no, is no, fine. No, 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 it's so not, go ahead. It's not even about a personal standpoint. When Cecil and Damon changed careers, I'm sure it was not only just them having the discussion, but other women talking in your ear about get behind your man, support your man. But that whole reverse situation usually doesn't happen. When he changed his careers, it changes jobs, because he's changed jobs several times, and it was really a non-issue. He just did it. I honestly feel like if she decides she wants to do something other than dentistry, I'm just going to have to figure it out. And that's what a man does. He supports his wife. And I think it's, it's yeah, everybody stop. does. That's what your man does. Well, so well, stop I that. wasn't finished. Every man doesn't, though. You are allowed to change, because you are, you get one life. YOLO, baby. YOLO, do everything you want to do. But you don't need to be the same person you were at 13, and at 20, and at 25. Carla, you something. you going to take me to my room? Your street number is five. Number five, where is that? All the way up. All the way up? Yes. Why? Oh, 
Let's see what this room is looking like. Thank you. Let me see, let me see, Simone. Put us. Okay. Nice king bed. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's different. Ooh, it's different. Let's test out the bed. Come on. I know how concrete no. feels when I see it. We got robbed. You got robbed. We got robbed. You were We definitely... got robbed. Yeah. Okay. But right? it should have been twice as big. It should have been twice as big. Is it on this? It is. Oh. It's up some more. Look at this thing. Oh, we've actually got a whole house to it. Oh, my Lord. Daddy, you did it. You brought it on home with that windmill, didn't you? It was an abbreviated windmill. Oh, that is cute. Now, see, I see what all the fuss was about. Would you like to take a look to the view that you have? Absolutely, yes. My mindset is not even there with them putting my room away from the couples. Have y'all seen these husbands? I didn't put Quad's room away from everybody else's because I thought she needed to be away from the husbands. We're going to share our husband with Quad. Please don't direct. <laughs> I put her room a good distance away so that she could have quality time with the most important person in her life, herself. I'm Dr. Simone, and this is my husband, Cecil. To subscribe, click here. For more videos, click here.